And by the way, uh, I also wanted to welcome everyone who watches this uh, offline. Uh, unfortunately, you couldn't uh, see it in online, but it's okay. And still waiting for our online listeners uh, to give me some feedback if you hear me well, if you see me well. Uh, so I'm getting positive replies that uh, you're hearing and seeing me well. So probably we can start and uh, others will join us uh, on the spot. So the topic of our today webinar is uh, paper call affiliate marketing for beginners. Uh, how to run paper call campaigns in 2022 with market call. Uh, as I already told um, you, I'm Alex, uh, head of affiliate department in Market Call, and we decided to make that webinar uh, for everyone who are still new to paper call niche and but uh, you want to get started with it. And in that webinar, uh, I will try to give you as much important uh, information as possible so you can start your journey to paper call as smooth as possible. So uh, the agenda for today's webinar is to talk about what is market call. If you are not familiar with us, uh, then I will talk about basics of paper call, why it's a great opportunity and how it works. Uh, then we will talk about uh, niches uh, in paper call and specific metrics you need to uh, pay your attention to. Uh, then we will talk about uh, traffic sources that are most popular in paper call and that are popular specifically in uh, market call affiliate network. Uh, then we will talk about examples of landing pages and ads that are currently working well that you can start with. Uh, and uh, in the end, we will talk about how you can track conversions with paper call and uh, special offers for our affiliates with agency accounts and uh, cards for advertising. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, so, first of all, what is Market Call? If you are not familiar with Market Call, Market Call is an affiliate network uh, and we do paper call and paper lead. We operate in the United States since 2018. So, currently we have more than 150 offers. Uh, we have around 30 plus employees and we have around 250 and more actively running affiliates in our network. And also we have internal media buying team that shares experience with affiliates. And also our team always tests uh, new niches. Uh, so if we see that that niche is profitable, then we set up that niche in our system. We were uh, nominated uh, for number one paper call affiliate network in 2021 by Offerworld and number two paper call affiliate network by the portal and think we are well known in the industry and uh, you can trust uh, while you work with us uh, while you get some education from us uh, we base all of our advices on real experience of our team and our affiliates uh, so if you have any questions you can ask them right now in the chat and i will answer all those questions in the end of the webinar uh, let's move on. So now let's talk about how paper call uh, offers work, how paper call advertising work, because a lot of affiliates uh, are used to working with uh, cost per lead or cost per sale offers. So first of all, um, affiliate is doing internet advertising like Google ads, Facebook ads. So uh, you show phone number in your landing page or you show your phone number in your ads people uh, call uh, that number. Uh, other type of advertising is offline advertising. Uh, when you just uh, show your phone number on the billboard, you present it in radio or TV. And finally, we have call center, uh, which can dial uh, some data or real-time leads and uh, pre-qualify customers. So from those uh, three main traffic sources, uh, web advertising, offline advertising and call center, uh, we generate a phone call on affiliate unique phone number. So every affiliate is uh, provided with a unique phone number which tracks all his calls. And uh, basically that's uh, how call tracking is done. And once the phone call is generated on that number, uh, it's redirected to advertiser's uh, call center. And then customer speaks directly with an agent from advertiser. 
And if that call is uh, qualified, uh, if it meets certain criteria, then affiliate gets payout uh, from advertiser and affiliate network for that call. So uh, why you should work with paper call and how it differs from other types of offers? First of all, uh, it has higher payouts than cost per lead offers. Let me give you an example. For example, let's take uh, most popular one of the most popular niches uh, in lead gen, uh, auto insurance. So auto insurance usually pays around eight to ten dollars uh, per qualified lead, while with paper call uh, you will be paid around thirty dollars for qualified call, and it uh, happens in other niches as well. So you have higher payouts and you can have higher margin on your advertising. Secondly, it's uh, evergreen verticals. So almost all verticals in paper call are evergreen. It means uh, you can run it in uh, without any bans, in, without any restrictions. Uh, those uh, verticals will, uh, will be alive for several years and you can uh, build a business around it. Uh, secondly, I mean, certainly um, there is no issues to get your ad campaigns approved. Uh, let's compare it, for example, with Nutra or Casino offers where your ad accounts will be suspended right away with uh, almost all paper call offers, uh, which can be like insurance, finance, home services. And I will talk about the niches later. So with those uh, niches, you don't get banned uh, with Facebook and Google and TikTok, and you can uh, run uh, your ad campaigns uh, smooth, smoothly. Uh, next point is, is transparent way of work. So uh, when, for example, you send traffic to a landing page on a cost per lead offer, uh, you just get statistics on how many leads uh, you generated, but you cannot verify uh, it if it's uh, real or not. Uh, while with calls, you can track every call, you can get uh, uh, recording of each call and you can see yourself if that call was qualified and uh, the number of calls you generated and the duration on each call. So you can track all those calls and it's a much more transparent way of work comparing to, to the traditional uh, CPA and CPL offers. And finally, we have high scaling potential because uh, we know uh, many of affiliates that are running paper calls that are doing like uh, thousands or tens of thousands uh, of revenue per day, it's pretty easy to scale because those uh, verticals are not getting suspended. Those verticals are pretty uh, broad and uh, targeting almost uh, all uh, US uh, country. So you can scale uh, pretty quickly because the target audience is pretty wide. So uh, let's uh, move to the next slide. And now let's talk about qualified call criteria because uh, not all affiliates understand uh, what they're getting paid for because some people ask me, hey, Alex, do we get paid on when customer buys something uh, from the advertiser? And I say, no, the sale is not required. What is required is that call comes in during uh, working hours of the offer, like working hours of the call center. Uh, next, uh, it's first time call means that specific customer is calling first time to that specific advertiser. So you're not getting paid on duplicate calls. It's a not spam call. It's pretty easy. Uh, caller should be interested in offers product or service. So uh, customer should be just interested to talk more about that product. He uh, doesn't need to buy the product uh, for affiliate to get paid. Next, uh, call duration exceeds the minimum buffer time. So usually uh, that buffer time in offers can be 60 seconds, 90 seconds or 120 seconds. That's the industry standard. And finally, uh, the allowed traffic source was uh, used and the advertising message didn't mislead a person. So that rule is pretty standard uh, across any kind of offers. Uh, so now let's move uh, next. Uh, now we will talk about main paper call verticals in the United States. Uh, some of those are presented uh, in our network. Uh, some of those can be presented in other networks. So we have uh, several categories such as insurance, finance, legal, home services, travel and other. 
So I would say insurance is one of the biggest verticals in paper call. It can be uh, health insurance, auto insurance, uh, Medicare. Medicare is like uh, health insurance, but for seniors, uh, life insurance and home insurance. So if we speak about uh, market call network, I would say uh, health insurance was always our biggest vertical. And uh, specifically uh, right now, it's a pretty hot season for Obamacare. It's like um, affordable health insurance plan uh, for people that can't afford regular health insurance. And um, actually, I made a private uh, case study about it, so I can talk about that later. As for finance offers, uh, we have debt settlement, tax debt settlement, credit repair and mortgage offers. I would say from those, uh, currently debt settlement is doing pretty well. It's a program where customers uh, can get a relief uh, from their debt. Uh, they may negotiate uh, with lenders that they pay less amount that they owe. And because uh, we see a recession in the United States, uh, that offer is getting more popular uh, each month. Uh, next uh, category is legal offers such as bankruptcy, personal attorney, personal injury and mass tort. Uh, those offers are more, um, I would say, more specific. Uh, those are harder to run. And uh, with paper call, we see uh, success with uh, mass tort offers. Those are uh, pretty specific, but they are paying uh, really good, around $200 for qualified goal. And uh, you can read more about those offers uh, in our system and ask uh, your personal manager. Uh, next uh, category is home services. Um, that category is pretty big. Uh, it can be services like plumbing, roofing, locksmith, pest control, TV, internet, home security, moving solar and other types of services. So those uh, offers are usually pretty uh, geo-specific. They can target only several states or a certain number of zips uh, because uh, there are really few companies that can uh, cover almost all uh, United States. So that's the specifics of those offers, but uh, those offers are easier to run, especially with Google Ads because uh, people are usually searching uh, for those services in uh, search, like Google. Um, and next uh, category is travel, is also one of the biggest uh, verticals in market call and especially flight booking. Uh, if some of you remember, I already made a webinar about uh, running flight booking offers maybe like eight months ago and it's still uh, working well in our system. And other types of offers can be like real estate, uh, rehab, and etc. So while you understand uh, all those range of verticals um, where you can start with uh, paper call, uh, I always advise uh, health insurance uh, from insurance, uh, vertical debt settlement from finance, uh, pest control from home services, and flight booking from travel. Those one of our biggest verticals and uh, we always recommend those uh, to start for newbies especially. So let's uh, move uh, next. Uh, now let's talk about main metrics of paper call marketing I uh, need to be aware of. First of all, we start with uh, CPC of the traffic source, uh, cost per click. How much do you pay uh, per click in your traffic source like Google, Facebook or TikTok? Of course, you need to keep uh, that CPC as low as possible, but still you need to get uh, good quality traffic so it converts well uh, for your offers. Uh, next one uh, is uh, conversion rate of the landing page. You need to optimize your landing page. You need to make it as good as possible uh, so as it converts uh, your traffic uh, to calls. So once you get a call, uh, then you have the conversion rate of all calls to billable calls. Let's say you get 100 calls, but only 20 of those are billable. So those uh, calls submit as a definition of qualified call. Uh, that is your conversion rate of all calls to billable calls. And finally, we have uh, payout per call. Uh, that payout that you get from your affiliate network or from your direct advertiser. So with uh, leads, 
uh, the main metric is uh, earnings per click EPC uh, with calls your main metric is also EPC but it stands for earnings per call and that is calculated by uh, payout and billable conversion rate uh, so you need to get your payout as high as possible, but you also need to get your conversion rate as high as possible. And uh, when you are comparing, uh, for example, uh, two affiliate networks, two paper call affiliate networks, always uh, ask about EPC earnings per call and uh, not about the payout, because maybe one network has higher payout, but uh, much less conversion rate and the EPC will be lower compared to other network. It's your uh, main uh, metric and you need to monitor it almost on a daily basis to make sure that your campaigns are running smoothly and advertising are answering calls and you are getting profit. Uh, so let's uh, move on next. Uh, in this uh, block, we will talk about traffic sources uh, for paper call offers. Uh, so I won't talk about every traffic source that exists on this planet. I will talk about only those that I can recommend for newbies and that are really working in our system. So uh, first of all, it's uh, of course uh, paid search ads. It can be Google ads or Bing ads. Here you can see examples of those ads. Uh, first one is for flight booking and this one is um, call only ads. So you can see here in the title, it says call and then the phone number. It means customer will click uh, the ad and he will directly uh, call uh, that number. A second ad, as you can see, is for pest control. It's traditional ad where you go to a website, uh, to the landing page, but you can also see on the bottom the call extension. So if customer doesn't want to go to the website, he can just call from the ad exactly. Uh, so one of the mistakes that newbie affiliate makes, uh, they uh, always try to run uh, call only ads first because they are lazy to make a landing page and they, they think that it will be easier for them to start with call only ads. So I can say when you run call only ads, first of all, uh, it, there is some possibility that your uh, ad account can be suspended because um, a lot of uh, gray hat uh, marketers, uh, they used to run uh, call only ads and that's why Google right now doesn't like uh, new accounts that are running uh, call only ads. And uh, second reason uh, that I don't recommend to start with uh, Google call only ads is because uh, usually Google charges for one click uh, much more for call only ads versus traditional ads. So my recommendation start with traditional ads, but at uh, uh, call extension, as you can see in the pest control example. And if we speak about uh, the Google Ads in general, uh, the best uh, offers that I, I can recommend is uh, flight booking and pest control. But I need to uh, warn you that uh, flight booking right now is considered a gray hat niche and uh, you may get your ad account suspended, so be careful while running it. But uh, I would say that uh, Google Ads was really popular among paper call affiliate marketers and especially beginners maybe two or three years ago. Right now competition uh, has become uh, much uh, more. Uh, there are more competitors, uh, more affiliates running the traffic source and they have budgets and if you have a low budget and uh, not the great skills in uh, setting up your Google campaigns, I don't recommend starting uh, with the traffic source. You may lose all your money if you set up something wrong here. Uh, let's uh, move to the next traffic source. Uh, it's uh, called uh, search engine optimization, SEO, but specifically GMB listings, uh, which stands for Google My Business uh, listings. So uh, that uh, traffic source uh, means that you set up a Google My Business listing uh, on a Google map and you put here a phone number and a landing page. Uh, the advantage of the traffic source is that it's free, so you don't uh, pay uh, any money for clicks. But the downside is that uh, you need to verify those listings, uh, you need um, to get those listings approved, like you need to verify the address, maybe the phone number. <clears throat> Still, some affiliates uh, know how to do it. Uh, they know 
how to get those listings verified in bulk. Uh, there are also some uh, service providers that can do it for you, but for some price. Um, and we still see a really good amount of traffic uh, from those listings. And if you can get uh, figured out how you can set up uh, those listings, you can uh, make a good amount of money. But as for regular SEO uh, optimization in regular uh, Google search results, I would say it's currently also very competitive, almost in all uh, paper call niches. So I don't recommend to work with a uh, general SEO uh, traffic source with paper call. Uh, now <clears throat> let's talk about my favorite uh, traffic source, which is Facebook ads. And uh, it is my favorite because it generates uh, lots of uh, revenue for market call and its affiliates. And it currently it's uh, best choice uh, for newbie affiliates to get started. <clears throat> so here you can see uh, three examples of ads uh, in Facebook for paper call offers. <clears throat> So first one is uh, for Obamacare or ACA, as I told you, is uh, pretty popular right now in market call. Uh, second one is for debt relief. And third one is for uh, company June uh, mustard offer. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, um, there is nothing special about those ads uh, that they are run on paper call basis. <clears throat> so even any elite offer can be run with similar ads as well. Uh, here we just uh, need to catch the attention of the user by our image and then also add some more context in our text. So user uh, becomes interested in that specific offer and he clicks uh, next to go to the landing page or <clears throat> he can go to Facebook elite uh, ad form or he can go to the messenger. Uh, also, you can run uh, Facebook uh, click to call ads as well, but I always don't recommend it because uh, users tend uh, firstly to check the landing page and then call the number. And uh, a lot of new affiliates, they make mistakes, they, they run uh, Facebook uh, call only ads, but I don't recommend to do it because as I said you, users firstly need to check the landing page. Um, now let's uh, talk about the landing pages for Facebook ads. So uh, there is uh, that template, that specific template that is pretty popular right now among uh, paper call affiliate marketers. And if you are already running a paper call with Facebook, you have probably seen the template already. Uh, there is nothing uh, special or new about it, but it's pretty simple and it's really working. So you can build a um, landing page for any offer using that template. So firstly, we have a uh, really catching title. Americans making less than $50,000 per year can qualify for free health insurance that covers health, vision and dental expenses. So you need to write that headline. Then you have some image uh, related to that niche. Uh, then you have uh, some additional text and then you have uh, your small quiz. As you can see, uh, it asks, do you make under 50,000 per year? Yes or no? Uh, next question, are you at least 25 years old? Yes or no? Uh, third question, are you on Medicare or Medicaid? Yes or no? And finally, it shows um, congrats uh, page where it says that you are qualified for our special health insurance program, tap to call for free, that's it. Uh, so why do we have that uh, short quiz instead of uh, showing the phone number directly? So first reason is we need to pre-qualify that customer so he actually qualifies for that specific offer. So you ask those questions uh, related to that specific offer. Uh, secondly, uh, that you ask those questions to get customer involved to make some customer journey. So uh, he already made some additional actions. He, he already answered those questions and he he's more ready to call the number. So our test uh, has uh, shown us uh, that uh, running um, that type of landing page uh, gets us uh, more conversions uh, versus running it uh, with just showing a phone number on the landing page. 
Uh, I think that's that's it. Uh, this uh, landing page template is pretty simple. You can find lots of uh, variations uh, in uh, uh, Facebook ad library, and I will talk about uh, how you can find it later. Uh, now let's talk. Uh, uh, let's uh, show uh, other um, landing page for debt relief. As you can see, it has similar structure. Uh, first of all, we have title Americans with 8K in credit card debt qualify for uh, 8,000 or more back in their pockets uh, through program savings. And then we have an image with a money check and some questions like do you live in the United States? Do you have over 8,000 credit card debt? And then uh, congrats message and phone number to call. Basically, that's it. A pretty easy landing page, uh, but it's uh, converting really well uh, for our internal team and our affiliates as well. Uh, now let's talk about how you can uh, find examples of good uh, ads uh, and good landing pages uh, for your ad campaigns. Uh, because uh, when you start running uh, any niche, whether it's paper call or paper lead, doesn't matter. You need to analyze what your competitors are doing and you need to do your homework. Uh, you need to scroll as many ads variations as possible to find uh, best uh, ad copies that are working. So there are two tools that I can recommend for new affiliates. Uh, those are ad spy tools where you can monitor ads of your competitors. One is called AdHerd. Uh, that service is paid. Uh, it costs probably around 50 or 100 dollars per month, but it's uh, worth its investment. And here you can find all uh, Facebook ads uh, by keywords, uh, by domain names, uh, by Facebook pages names and other filters. Uh, second tool, it's free, it's called uh, Facebook Ad Library. You just follow that link uh, and you can type uh, either keyword or Facebook uh, page name and you can search uh, for winning ads in your niche. So. Uh, how you can find uh, your competitors. Of course, first of all, what you do, you type just uh, offer name like health insurance or Obamacare, something like that. If uh, those ads are not enough, you can check texts uh, of uh, current competitors and you can find what other uh, important keywords they are using. Uh, for example, um, related to health insurance niche, you can also use a word like medical insurance. You can use you can use word uh, dental insurance, vision insurance. Uh, you can also add some additional keywords like uh, health insurance call, health insurance benefits, health insurance quote, affordable health insurance, zero dollar health insurance. So you can find as many variations as possible. Also, if you if you know the Facebook page uh, name, you can uh, see all ads from that specific page and you can see what else uh, that page is running. And uh, please use always uh, those uh, spy tools because it will uh, save you a lot of uh, money at tests if you already see what your competitors are doing. And what is the difference uh, between AdHerd and Facebook ad library? I would say that uh, with Facebook ad library, if uh, someone stops running um, ads, sometimes uh, Facebook can just delete uh, those ads uh, from uh, the library. While with AdHerd, uh, it has its uh, own database and it uh, may have more results uh, than uh, Facebook ad library. Uh, let's uh, move on next. Uh, as I promised, I wanted to talk about uh, conversion tracking. Uh, so how you can track uh, your calls and how you can attach uh, additional uh, web parameters like uh, UTM or sub IDs. With um, cost per lead offers, you just attach those parameters to your tracking link and that's it. While with calls, it's a little bit different because you are provided a unique phone number and you just attach that phone number on your landing page and uh, regular system just cannot um, match your web traffic with your calls but there is a solution it's called dynamic call tracking 
uh, that function uh, is available in any uh, third party phone call tracking like uh, Ringba or Track Drive. Uh, but those systems, uh, though they cost uh, some money, uh, you need to pay for each number, you need to pay for each minute of the call, and sometimes it's costly, especially for newbie affiliates. Uh, so I, I think that around 5% you can save on uh, call tracking if you use a market call, uh, free call tracking, and it can add 5% to your ROI, uh, which is still a good number. So basically what it does, it uh, provides a pool of numbers and each user will see a unique phone number and he will call that number and it will direct redirect to your main number. So you can attach uh, web traffic uh, to your um, calls. Uh, the setup is pretty simple. Uh, you set, uh, put uh, your landing page URL, uh, you set up a phone number format and you just copy a special script and insert in your landing page and then it will automatically change uh, your main number to uh, dynamic phone number from the tracking pool and uh, yeah and here you can see an example of call tracking information on a specific call so we can see where that call came from we can see the landing page we can see a user agent, a user IP address, we can see UTM source, UTM medium, or like all parameters that you put in your link. We can also see any sub ID that uh, you inserted. And uh, most importantly, we see here a Facebook click ID. It's a unique uh, ID of every click that Facebook um, adds to your uh, link. And that is required if you want to pass back conversions to Facebook which is really important and let's talk about it. Uh, when you work with any type of campaign, whether it's CPA, CPL or paper call, you need to pass uh, conversions to your traffic source or to Google, to Facebook, to TikTok, whatever traffic source you are working with. So with calls, if you use dynamic call tracking, you can pass back conversions to Facebook. You just add a new post back, you choose uh, Facebook here you choose object call, uh, you set up your uh, campaign, then you insert um, your pixel ID, your uh, special uh, Facebook uh, API token, and then you also uh, can insert any additional information that you need. We automatically um, add uh, your payout for that call, uh, date and time of that call, and uh, of course the Facebook click ID, so Facebook can match that click to that conversion and uh, while, while you are doing that while you are passing conversions to Facebook Facebook analyzes it and it optimizes your ad campaign it's really important to do and I recommend to start uh, setting up your campaigns with uh, postback uh, with passing conversions uh, to Facebook uh, now let's talk about uh, where you can get um, Facebook accounts. Uh, of course, you can buy uh, some of those accounts uh, in the web on some uh, Telegram chats, on some forums. Uh, maybe I can uh, make a separate video where, uh, speaking about types of Facebook accounts and where you can buy it. Uh, but now I just wanted to present our new product. Uh, for affiliate marketers, which is um, Facebook agency accounts. Uh, you can uh, run any white hat offers. It doesn't matter if it's uh, market call offers or any other network offers. Uh, those accounts are prepaid. Uh, so you need uh, to uh, top up that account on minimum $1,000. It doesn't have any daily spend limits. So with the regular Facebook accounts, uh, the daily ad spend limit can be like $50 or $100 or $250, something like that. Uh, with those accounts, you don't have any spend limits. Uh, the only limit you have is the amount that you prepaid on that account. And those agency accounts, they are more trusted accounts because they come from a Facebook a partnered agency. It's not like some, uh, some new accounts uh, with no history. And the terms of those accounts are uh, we charge uh, 5 to 6% of your ad spend. 
and uh, it depends uh, i mean five or six percent it depends on how you top up uh, your account so those details are discussed uh, with me specifically or affiliate managers in market call and now let's talk about virtual cards uh, we know that a lot of affiliates ask us if we can provide virtual cards for advertising and currently we are working to prepare a solution where US-based affiliates can get virtual debit and credit cards uh, with cashback on ad spend. Um, but in case you are not US-based affiliate, uh, you can also write me and we can give you some referrals on companies that uh, work uh, with affiliates all over the world um, that provide a virtual card for advertising because uh, still uh, if you run several ad accounts you will need to have several uh, virtual cards uh, for your advertising and of course if you get uh, some cashback on your spend it would benefit uh, and add to your profit so in case uh, that uh, you are US based affiliate or non-US based affiliate and you are interested in that solution please contact me through uh, Skype uh, or email and join our waitlist for that product uh, and uh, also I wanted to present you that we are currently hiring uh, for our internal media buying team uh, we are growing every month and in case uh, you are good skilled affiliate you have some uh, profitable ways to run offers but you're struggling to get good budget for advertising maybe an option to join our internal media buying team uh, so you can apply if you have a proven track of record of your successful ad campaigns uh, secondly uh, you know everything about your traffic source and beyond and finally you're ready to get paid only by percentage uh, of profit but in return uh, we give you unlimited uh, budget for advertising we give you uh, proven offers and uh, ways to run those offers we give you agency accounts and uh, we give you any support you need um, so if you are interested uh, please submit your cv to my email alex at marketcall.com and i will uh, take a look on it so as of as for our internal media buying teams of course uh, one of those teams is running uh, US paper call and paper lead offers, but we have other internal teams as well. Uh, so uh, one team is running uh, casino offers and uh, two teams are running uh, neutral offers. So we are uh, pretty flexible in terms of uh, vertical and uh, we have unlimited budget if uh, uh, your, your work is bringing profit. Uh, so, I think uh, that's the end of the webinar, but uh, we don't end here because, first of all, I will right now answer all your questions, so please don't hesitate to answer those. And secondly, uh, I have a few steps for you, so please sign up for our, on our website if you haven't. Uh, secondly, please check our five private case studies on the link on the slide. And uh, next, uh, Please be prepared for our next webinars. Please don't miss our web webinars. How to run debt relief offers. How to run new secret traffic source that I didn't mention in that webinar, but is doing uh, pretty well already in our system. Uh, next, uh, join our upcoming webinar on running Obamacare offers because the season for Obamacare offers is starting pretty soon from 1st November to 31st of January. It will be a really hot season where affiliate marketers make a lot of money on that niche. So please be prepared for that webinar and please be prepared for running that specific offer. And if you didn't have a chance to ask uh, those questions in our live session, please uh, send those to my email alex at marketcall.com. So uh, thank you for your attention and now I'm ready to answer your questions. Uh, so um, I will start with the news questions. Uh, can you help me find an affiliate to provide airline calls? So uh, if you are an advertiser and you're looking to buy calls, please sign up on our system as an advertiser. That's it. 
uh, which is uh, vertical is best to start with. Uh, I would recommend right now Obamacare is really hot. It's pretty easy to run it through Facebook. Uh, we have proven uh, ads and landing pages that you can use to run it. So I recommend uh, if you if you know how to run Facebook, I recommend Obamacare, which is affordable health insurance uh, plans. Uh, a good question. Uh, health insurance offer requires certification from Google. Does Facebook require same? Uh, good news is that uh, Facebook doesn't require a certification for health insurance, so you can easily run it uh, on Facebook and TikTok. Uh, Cam uh, June available on Market Call? Uh, yes, uh, that offer is private, so please write your affiliate manager to get started on that offer. My question, uh, if I already have existing unrelated website, should I be creating new domain names for my PPC landing pages? Um, so it depends on uh, your domain name. If it's related to some other niche, I would recommend not to use it. But if it's some generic uh, web name, yeah, you can easily use it uh, for your paper con campaigns. Mm, Alex, can you please share some case studies of Google Ads? Uh, so I shared a case study on running flight booking offer like uh, eight months ago from our internal media buying team. Um, but uh, as for now, we don't have any recent case studies on Google as our uh, team is mainly focused on running uh, social media like uh, Facebook uh, and TikTok. And as I told you, uh, face, uh, Google is pretty competitive right now, so it may be a not good option for newbie affiliates. Uh, what is the interest target audience for Facebook for electrical offer? Uh, so uh, honestly speaking, uh, I don't know. Uh, so uh, as for electrical offer, I know it's a home services offer and we see uh, more uh, success uh, for home services offers running Google Ads because uh, if person uh, needs uh, electricity, probably it's urgent matter and he will uh, find it in Google and call immediately versus scrolling something on Facebook. So for Facebook, you need to target offers that are not uh, immediate need for the customer. So like health insurance, auto insurance, debt relief, it's not an immediate need for the customer. It, it's good working uh, Facebook. Um, I have spent uh, 35K on YouTube ads with good ROI. Can I join your internal media buying team? Uh, yes. Uh, so please send more information about yourself, maybe your CV, uh, some of your case studies uh, to my email alex at marketcall.com and I would be happy to discuss. Um, uh, does the paper call work uh, good with uh, YouTube ads? Uh, actually, uh, yes, um, it uh, works pretty well. I would say uh, Facebook ads is still uh, much more uh, bigger in terms of uh, volume. Uh, but we see good traction with YouTube ads and I would say YouTube is uh, less competitive in uh, paper call uh, space compared to Facebook. But it's still uh, not uh, quite uh, used from affiliate marketers and I know it's hard uh, to make ad creatives for YouTube because it should be video creatives versus uh, Facebook ads uh, that uh, can be just image creatives. Uh, okay, Alex, so please share Facebook case studies. Yeah, so as I mentioned, we will make more webinars. Uh, one will be about debt relief Facebook ads, other will be about Obamacare Facebook ads, so please don't miss it. And if you also have any requests for additional videos or webinars, we will uh, make those as well. So guys, any, any more questions uh, to me? Uh, because I think I answered uh, almost all of those.
uh, how to avoid spam or bot calls for flight booking and other offers. So we see in some uh, niches, uh, especially with Google Ads, we see some affiliate marketers, they do some black hat techniques uh, when they find your phone number and they send a lot of spam calls and uh, that provokes advertiser uh, pausing uh, your campaign. So to avoid uh, spam calls, uh, first of all, uh, you need uh, to join offer that has uh, anti-spam IVR. So you can ask your personal manager if uh, they have such offer with anti-spam IVR. And secondly, you need uh, to understand uh, from which location those spammers are coming from. They usually come from non-US countries. And you just need uh, to uh, change your phone number specifically to customers that are located outside US or that are using uh, VPN services. All right, guys, any more questions that I didn't cover, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. And if you are watching us uh, in recording, uh, please send all your questions to your affiliate manager in market call or my email alex at marketcall.com. And uh, does uh, Facebook uh, Messenger work well for health insurance offer? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so as for our internal media buying team, currently we run most of our traffic to the landing page. Uh, we have made some tests uh, with Facebook Messenger as well, but unfortunately we did 